we're off. Headed to check out all our trail camps. <laughs> all right, so we're on our way to the game camps. It's a long walk to that one camera. Yeah, it's pretty far. It's all the way in the back corner of our property. And I get distracted very easily. Oh, there goes a chipmunk. Wow, look at this little mushroom city. This is like a funnel mushroom. Look at that. Wow, look at the size of this acorn. That is oh, a yeah. tremendous bear. No, could be. That's bear. Could be bear deer. That's not bear deer, that's bear. The man bear pig. <laughs> we made it to the cameras. <laughs> It wasn't that bad. Oh, it wasn't that bad. So, uh, how you doing, Rich here? Welcome to the channel. It's hunting season right around the corner, so I thought maybe we'd talk a little bit about these game cams. We've had a bunch of these on the property for over a year now, so I thought maybe it'd be a good time to, you know, go over them a little bit and see what we tell you what we think as far as like a real world review on something like that. So this is the Tech Bean. Uh, I don't know what the heck it's called, if it has a model or anything like it that. It didn't, just, I looked uh, it up. The Tech Bean on Amazon, moderately priced, you know, not too expensive. So let's talk a little bit about what we like about it. First of all, the screen is actually mounted to the tree so you could frame your shot. Some of the other ones we have, the camera is actually attached to this outer cover. So, you know, when you open it up, it swings out. You really can't tell what you're looking at, what you're aiming the camera at. The other thing I like about this thing is the controls are right up in front. So they're easy to see. Okay, I just turned it on and off. Pretty. Uh, nice the way they laid out. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory as far as the menu to, to make change all the settings on the camera. We use these cameras mainly for video, not for stills. Uh, the video is pretty sharp for, for what it is. The other thing I like about it is it has a full-size card. Nice and easy to get to. So that's a big plus. Some of the other ones have the little tiny cards. The video quality is pretty good. I got no complaints about that. The video of the bear was pretty awesome that we got. It was. The range is short, it's only 75 feet. Right, that's one of the negative things about it. It's a 75 foot range. Trigger speed is a little bit long. It's like 0.6 seconds on this one. So it's a, that's a more than a half a second. The night thing, it's, it's definitely stealth. You can't see a single one of those LED lights at night. That's right. Not a single one, and it's very, very quiet. quiet. And I say that because our other camera isn't very quiet. Right, it's quiet and there's no LED lights that light up. A lot of people on Amazon say that it's very hard to use because the manual was left a lot to be desired, but honestly, it's really self-explanatory. Battery life is good. Oh yeah. It lasts a long time, it lasts almost, uh, what, six, eight months? But a solid six months. At least six months, yeah. And like I said, we're doing 30 and second video clips. And it's cold here too in the winter. Let's see if it's still working. It got down to like negative 11 and colder than that even. So yeah, it held up. Not too bad. The, the big, like I said, the biggest drawback would be uh, the trigger time and the, the field of view. It's not one of the wider ones out there. The other interesting thing that we forgot to point out is the back of the camera. If you use a cable type uh, mount to a tree with a lock, it'll fit through there. Not too crazy about those the latches. For latches, the, yeah. For the cover. We feel yeah. like they would break, but it's gone through all four seasons so far, and they've survived. So that's pretty impressive. All right. All right, let's go take a look at the other ones. So here's our other tech bean. So we had one and we liked it so much we bought another one because of the ease of use. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If uh, 
If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh, think about subscribing. Thanks for watching.